Rusty, 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 rusty. Right, this is a Renault Midlam or DAF LF uh, 45 cab step mount. It's rotten, as you can see. I'm going to try and clean it up a bit using um, electrolysis. Uh, we're going to try and electrically remove the rust from this using acid, a battery charger, and a tin. Can be any kind of tin, can be plastic, can be whatever. If you use a plastic tin, you've got to use a bit of sacrificial metal that you can stick in there, it could be anything, as long as it's metal or conductive. And you put one of your clamps to it, and then the other clamp can go to whatever, to the, uh, sorry, to the, yeah, that thing there. Basically, if you use a metal tin, make sure you insulate your, your, your thing that you're trying to uh, remove the rust off from the sides, otherwise you'll just arc it out straight away. Doesn't do your battery charger any favours. Inside that is white vinegar. It doesn't look white anymore, but that's because I've used it a few times. But believe me, that was once white vinegar. Um, pour the white vinegar in there. Put whatever that thing is, again, step mount thing, into there. Connect the, I do believe it's the positive side up to that, and the negative to your sacrificial piece of metal or your tub, if it's a metal tub, conductive tub. Put your battery charger on. Uh, uh, and just, well, leave it for a few hours. Let's see if it works. Alright, naturally this battery charge is a bit of a dick and it needs a battery to m make it convinced to start producing power, so I had to hook up this broken jump start back to it. It's broken because it's missing one of the leads. Anyway, as you can see, we've got bubbles coming up. Hydrogen bubbles. Nice. Right. I don't know if you can see that, but right there, we've got a lot of bubbles coming up from that, uh, that thing. Can I zoom in on that? Oh, I can! In a very bad way. But yeah, there's bubbles coming up off that. Cool stuff. Now all we do is we leave that for a few hours. And it should come out looking pretty shiny for about five minutes. And then it rusts over again, but only surface rust. If you wash it off quick, it doesn't rust over that bad at all. Gives me a nice excuse to wash my tub out too. So there you go. Uh, yeah, check out part two. It'll be, uh, be on in a bit. With the final end result. Thanks for watching.